use Twitch, so I may be a bit of a rookie, everybody. But hello, I am Mark the Cyborg, and I am going to be playing some Half-Life 2. So hopefully we are up and running here. Oh, don't want to turn off my phone. But let's uh, get going with point insertion. Starting a new game from the get-go. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Okay. Um... Wake up and smell the ashes. Oh, no, I am live. Sorry, I probably made that uh, cut out because. And yes, hello, Gaming with Geeks. Boom indeed. So now I'm on the. Hmm, drop to City 17. I might actually need to turn on a vertical synchronization. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. Sorry, I just gotta touch up my video settings a little bit here. Advanced and... I'll wait for VSync. I was getting a bit of screen tearing and we can't have that on our delightful stream. This should hopefully stop that. Hello there, 917. Just watched your, your previous live stream on the new channel. Oh, thank you. And we got Alex Arrow Cave, too. So, uh, in this game, second in the Half Life series, I'm taking up the role of Gordon Freeman, who was a scientist at a facility called Black Mesa that basically opened up a portal to another dimension or another planet. It's not really 100% clear, but it's a place called Zen, spelled with an X, X-E-N. And um, in the years since the Black Mesa incident, which was the incident at the lab, the world has been kind of taken over by a totalitarian alien race called the Combine. And that's why everyone looks like they're living in a communist country right now. <laughs> Gordon is just arriving in an Eastern European city called City 17. At the behest of that uh, talking head looking dude called the G-Man. And I don't think Gordon even knows 100% why he's here. Nova Prospect is a prison. Hopefully that's not where we're going to be going. So this Combine troop is uh, flagging us over. Hello, Artemis Acid. Mine must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Hey, Drunk 3 Pio, how's it going? So luckily, this is not a normal Combine troop. It's Barney. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put He was the security guard at the lab Gordon used to work at. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but... Look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to... Subhuman 84, it's okay to be wrong. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. But you can get this game on Xbox 360 and PS3 as well. She would have a better idea how to get in here. Well, 
As long as he stays away from and actually, uh, Half-Life 2 is even on the original Listen, Xbox. Go, We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. All right, so we want to make sure that Barney doesn't get beaten. So yeah, Barney was one of the security guards of Black Mesa, and there's a, an expansion pack called Blue Shift in which you play as Barney. And it's basically the story of how he escaped from Black Mesa as it was being invaded by Indians. Ah, thank you very much, Subhuman. But yeah, it's okay. I honestly don't mind if people have different opinions on which consoles they like the best. I, I tend to only argue on um, inconsistency of argument or when different platforms are treated differently. That's why Jeremy and I are always at odds about uh, Nintendo because I, um, I like Nintendo. I just don't think they're perfect and I find a lot of Nintendo fans just want to... Uh, even not Jeremy. Jeremy will at least admit that their online infrastructure is bad. Yeah, so th th this game introduces you to a lot of physics-based things that sort of weren't around in um, at, at this area of gaming. Because this game came out in 2003. So stuff like actual physics being applied to objects was quite new. And everyone ends up throwing one at the Combine Troop. Get him out of the way. Don't have time to play PC games. I mean, like, I wouldn't say PC games take any more time than, uh, than any other video game. You can, uh... There's definitely short games that are on, on PC. Hell, I got through Resident Evil 3 in one sitting. <laughs> Beep, hello there, 917. Ah, and hey, Krista, how's it going? So the guy on the big kind of video screen up there is essentially the dude who uh, sold out humanity. And he's the big talking head that's always telling everybody that we should be happy about this alien race now controlling us. He refers to them as our benefactors. Pisses me off the, these developers thinking you need high-end machines to play a good game. Um, I don't think it's developers that think that. I think often it's uh, the marketing wings of publishers that want to say things like, oh, yeah, this game has to be 4K, where I, I honestly wish they would focus on performance more so than resolution, because I find frame rates are much more important to how you actually experience a game than... Um, high resolution but it's also one of the reasons why I like covering older games because I don't necessarily think a game needs to be brand new and the nicest looking thing in the world in order to be good in fact one of the neat things about playing older games on a PC is that you can it's almost like you get a free remastered version of a game that you're playing because you can just run it at better settings than I mean, this game came out in 2003, and I I would not say anything I've seen so far looks bad. It's just the software grows with your hardware when you can actually change the settings and apply mods. There's no mods on this, though. This is just vanilla Half-Life 2. So if you buy the game off Steam and run it on a modern computer, this is how it will look out of the box. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Of course, this one's question long. touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes. Oh, knock their TV off. I also want Attention, 
So there's no shooting for the first bit of this game. It's basically, um, we're just trying to make our way through this sort of oppressed city, and uh, eventually, oh god, get to um, Dr. Kleiner's lab to help with the experiment that they're going to try. Oop. And the game funnels you down the path you need to be on pretty well. Load times are on the frequent side. Games did were not designed with um, environmental streaming the way they are now, so um, things aren't being loaded on the fly. They're being sort of loaded in sections. Oh. I don't have a run button turned on. Hold on one second. I'm just going to quickly check my controls. Um, keyboard. Oh, yeah, you know what? You can't sprint in here until you get the, um, the Enviro suit. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I should be able to sprint. Why can't I sprint? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Save me, Alex. Spoiler alert. And hey, Jeremy's here. Yes, Half-Life 2. Indeed. There's Alex Vince. Dr. Freeman, I presume. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Alex is my map. And so she is the star of the recent VR game, Half-Life Alex. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Oh, Artemis, yeah, sorry to hear about the Team Fortress voice actor. Although I don't know if it, <laughs> if that which cannot be named is not named in <laughs> on Twitch also, or is it just a YouTube thing? Yep. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Here, let me buy you a drink. I still remember in 2003 being just blown away by the facial animation. <laughs> oh, nice to finally meet you. It seems pretty basic now, but um, it was quite impressive when this game first came out. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and my goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? And yes, Yodem Darkstar, um, I was actually thinking of playing, maybe if these streams go well, then uh, maybe I'll, I'll do Black Mesa after this, which is the uh, remake of Half-Life 1. Fan remake that's actually quite high quality. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. That's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? 
for real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides <laughs> since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civics. What? Oh dear. All right. I almost Let's get forgot. suited up. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shit. But okay. So this is the HEV suit. It is basically oh Lamar. Get it off me. So he's a um, defanged head crab. Got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head, fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, yeah, my pet. Hop up. <laughs> no, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Get into your suit now. Here we go. Your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. <laughs> I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. Now we can sprint. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Hey, Dark Side Droids, how's it going, man? Sorry if you guys hear me sipping things. I will be drinking coffee as I play. Because I'm a tired man. So Alex is going to be teleported to. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? To her father, Eli Vance. Who's this guy right here? You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. That's not who I think it is. The Apollo Patriot with the emotes of. I don't know who that is, but I'm new to the Twitch game. Thank you for the emotes, though. <laughs> one eyeing it until I fully wake up. Yes, that is probably what I'm doing too. I don't know, maybe she died like the cat. Well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli. And not a moment yeah, that's how easy things can get if you train in STEM, everybody. <laughs> Go to MIT, become a physicist, physicist, flip a switch. If you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. 
And obviously nothing is gonna go wrong here. Oh. Hey, Dr. Breen. How did you get in here? Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Ah! Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Fast. Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Okay. It's like I'm staying outside, but they're taking pictures of me. Mm. Oh, I, I don't have to hop over. Mm. I don't like being photographed. Here we go. Running away. Okay. Thinking of downloading Pillars of Eternity Deadfire for my first PC game, that may be Titanfall 2, since you and Jeremy were... Yes, actually, I think uh, Titanfall 2 would probably be a bigger, a better uh, introduction to the platform, because it'll... You know, that is a game that really, like, cooks. Um, Pillars of Eternity, it's, it's a good game, it's just a, it's a top-down CRPG, so it's, it's not really gonna... It's not really going to blow you away with what your computer can do. Titanfall 2 is a much better, um, what would be the word, uh, benchmark. Oh, yeah. Give me that crowbar, baby. The crowbar is like the classic Half-Life weapon. And it really kind of only became that way because it's the first thing that Gordon comes across in the original game. I don't think I even need to destroy that that thing, but why not? Don't have a gun yet, so we're still going to be running more than fighting. Oop. Oh no. I do have limited sprint though, so see that auxiliary power in the bottom left corner is how much I can sprint for. Once that runs out, I can no longer sprint. Light on. There we go. And Yodem Darkstar with the Kapow. Indeed. Alright, so we already made it to Root Canal. This is the first actual mission. Mm, okay. Okay, let's get a gun. I shall. I'm quickly going to just stop at that health station. Uh, this is before the days of regenerating shields. So, uh, to charge up my shields, you have to... Yeah, re or regenerating health, for that matter. 
So to get my shields charged up, I need to find HEV stations and health stations for my health. Were you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? <laughs> I was uh, supposed to be in the teleportation chamber a little bit ago, but uh, a head crab who um, decided to get play fast and loose with the um, rules of where he should and should not be uh, put an end to that. He's a defranged head crab, and he's kind of adorable in his own way, so we love him, but still. Lamar, Lamar screwed the experiment. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is not the way to go. Ah. Running upstairs causes a bit of physics glitching. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Blow up. Always use red barrels whenever possible. That will save your ammo. Forgetting where to go. Oh, uh, yeah, opening that door, that'd help. Oh, I'm on hold crouch. Sorry, I might need to switch this to toggle crouch. I'm not a hold crouch guy. I'm a hold sprint guy, but... Duck. Oh, maybe that's not an option. Okay, never mind. But hell, we'll save our game again. Now, automatic checkpoints aren't really a thing. Half-Life 2 and all its goodness. <laughs> well, there goes our grant money. Yeah, I know, these Black Mesa scientists. They're, uh, they're so irresponsible with the taxpayers' dollars. See a shadow under the train. A little bit of suit power. Top off my health. Alright. Ryan has just gotten approved for channel memberships on YouTube. Oh, sweet. I could have sworn channel memberships were something that you could do just if you um, if you're monetized, but I could be wrong about that. I haven't set, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I haven't set mine up just because I've never wanted to uh, make any exclusive content, especially on my channel. I don't really get much of a chance to make videos for for my channel itself. I, I mostly make videos for gaming with geeks these days. So. Oh. Okay. 
Ah, come on. I don't want to waste all the ammo on you people. And you know what I mean by you people. The Combine. Actually, I guess they're not technically people. They're aliens, but, you know. I'm sure they don't appreciate being called aliens. I'm a progressive Canadian, so I... <laughs> I will call them people, if that's how they should identify. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Oh, hey, buddy. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by... This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. <laughs> Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Vortigons are the best. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigon friend here give you a jolt to get you going. It's not something everyone has. Other drunk and I just got approved for it. Oh, cool. Be careful. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same mystery. Right. Save early, save often, everybody. That's the the secret to PC shooters. A lot of them do not have checkpoints, they just make you save on your own, which is great in that you can save anytime you want. Not so great if you forget to save, because <laughs> then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, I've been playing for a straight hour and haven't saved even once. I guess I just lost all that progress. Um, oh, boy. I guess I'm not going this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am clearly missing something here. Can I, I can't get through a rock with a crowbar? Uh, I feel like I'm being stupid. Can't get through here. Is there something on this side? No. I'm stuck. Alright, clearly I'm being stupid. Oh, can't jump across there. Oh, okay, that's just this wood frame. Sorry, that looked like a very stable structure. <laughs> oh. Those things are freaky to get caught by in Half-Life Alex, I'll tell you that much. Oh wait, it's being a witch capture footage. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because I really need footage for my Half-Life Alex review. And, um... I have... Oh! I didn't save that guy in time. Okay. There we go. Alright. Just gotta hit everything with the crowbar. Yeah, it's a uh, decent advice for a half life game. Ah. 
Oh god. Oh no. Don't want to hang around too long when there is an APC. Oh, hi, I'm Jeremy Swiggs. It's uh, Mark the Cyborg playing. I am the um, PC gamer of the group. I uh, often make video reviews on the um, Gaming with Geeks YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, seriously? Seven rounds. How Alex's pistol and Half Life Alex is more powerful. Oh. Over here. Hello, refugee lady. Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's other You got it, lady. Ooh. Okay. Those supply crates are always a valuable source of ammo and power-ups. So always make sure to hack those open with the crowbar whenever you see them. Okay. Ooh. Let's... Oxygen at two. Okay. Oh boy. Might have to be up for a second or two more to get some auxiliary power back. And let's dive. Okay. Oh, could have sworn that. Ah, maybe I do have to kill these guys. Yeah, you know what it was? I was seeing the reflection up there because I thought that this was one of the ones where I had to swim underneath, but it is not. So I didn't need to firm that oxygen. So is there any indication about the possibility of you streaming on your Twitch channel in the future? On my Twitch channel? Um, I don't know. I mean, here, I could uh, say something in the chat. And if you guys want, you can follow me, but um, I, I tend to do most of my streaming on um, on YouTube because that, that tends to be what I do with my, my YouTube channel most of the time these days. Um, that doesn't mean I won't ever stream on Twitch, but uh, because, I don't know, this has been pretty fun. And it seems like the um, stream quality is a bit better than YouTube. But uh, just with the time I spend on my Gaming with Geeks videos, I don't really make reviews on my, my own channel anymore. So my streams are kind of uh, what I do on my YouTube channel these days. Normally when I'm yeah, pretty much doing what I'm doing here, which is uh, collecting footage for a uh, YouTube review. Now granted, I probably don't even need as much footage as I've already gotten from Half-Life 2, because uh, the, the review that I'm making is on Half-Life Alex, the VR game that just came out, but it's good to have cutaway footage. And... Okay, alright. Okay, so you can pick up these and throw them ah, at the tongue monsters and uh, give yourself a bit of space. Or you can get really sneaky and throw a flammable barrel down their way. Let them pick that up. And kaboom. Oh, thank you very much. Um, DC, DC... DC Nintendo fanboy. There we go. Sorry, I was having trouble reading that from, uh... I I'm looking at the chat off a of phone. Now maybe this one you have to actually give it a couple shots. Oop. There we go. Gross. Ah. 
sensitivity on the mouse wheel weapon selection is a little sensitive for my face. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Maybe if I have some followers over on Twitch, I will uh, decide it is would be worth my time to... Oh, God. That was bad. And I have not saved recently, so... <laughs> Here's hoping I don't die. Oh, there we go. Off to the left. Check down. Boom. Oh, seriously? Didn't get them? That sucks. Ah. Stuck in a wall. There we go. And we're safe. Okay. Um, now, physics puzzles were a big thing in Half-Life 2 when it first came out. So... Luckily, I played enough of this that I remember how to solve this puzzle. Um, pretty much what I have to do is add enough weight on top of this so that I can run along here and run up the ramp. As you can see, though, if I walk over to this end, it will fall to the ground. But we need enough weight to keep it here. Because the fulcrum is favored a little bit more to the right side, being a like pivot point of the seesaw. I just find myself some cinder blocks and use science to solve the problems. <laughs> Gordon Freeman isn't just a scientist for the purpose of the storyline; it's uh, it affects the gameplay as well. There. Oh, not quite. I'm gonna knock those cinder blocks off. Oh man, maybe I might need to find one more block. There we go. There. Ah, I am just jumping too early. Or not early enough. Now I feel like I'm terrible at video games. Yeah, I just shouldn't sprint. I'd jump farther if I don't sprint. Hmm. That is odd. Oh, or I have cinder blocks falling off. Oh no! <laughs> no! All my hard work. Oh, come on. Mm, this is getting frustrating. Hold on one second. <laughs> it's blinding me with sun. <laughs> Just gonna quickly save my game so that I don't end up with five hours of footage of this thing. There we go. Oh, hella chopper. Bad times, bad times. Save up my sprint. Oh 
no. Ah, there we go. Okay. Secret over here. Beneficial one too. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, let's quickly explode that barrel because I feel like there's something under there that's gonna jump out at me. Just a charred corpse. There are zombies in this game, but luckily the zombies are not dangerous unless they have a head crab on them. If it just looks like a dead zombie body, it is not going to suddenly jump out at you under any circumstance. Because it's not how the zombies work here. There are less zombies and more people being controlled by aliens. Okay, let's throw those ones down. Is there another flammable barrel or was it just the one? I think it was just the one. Alright, so these ones. Let's check that down. For... Oh. My distraction came too early. Not good enough. Okay. Now I could just wait underneath those things and then um shoot them, but that wastes a lot of ammo because it takes about seven rounds to kill each one. Or two rounds to blow up an exploding barrel. Whoa, okay. Alright. I'm thinking go left. <laughs> I might have been right. Oh. Well, you know. Got, got a health pack. Got, got a bit of ammo. This could have gone worse. I'm at full health. Terrible amount of suit energy, but I got a decent amount of I'm full ammo, actually. I've been saving too much ammunition, if anything. Mm -hmm. Let's save our game. Along the root canal. They're absolutely looking for me. Hey, and hello, Triple Skip. Oh, man hacks. There we go. You're welcome, buddy. Come on. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Every so often you gotta light that auxiliary power charge back up. <laughs> Especially if you've been using both sprinting and your flashlight. Just want to know how and why they put skids in a narrow hallway at an angle. <laughs> Early 2000s level design. Valve was so concerned with what they could do that they never stopped to ask if they should. Mm. Oh. Now that looks like the path to a secret, if I know my video games. Ah! Yeah, look at all those supply boxes. Mana from heaven. Okay, gotta go back around though. Oh boy, where am I being shot from? Nothing, okay. Oh, you have submachine guns for me, don't you? Yep. Okay, so that is a head crab zombie. Ah. Uh, now you're thinking the zombie is the scary part, but what you need to kill is the head crab. So actually, not unlike other zombies, shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Oh no! And that will is a waste of a grenade. Boo. Okay. Let's uh save my shame. Sorry, it's one of the things I don't like about the weapon selection in this uh, version of the game without any mods, is the weapon wheel just selects the weapon that you're on, and then you have to hit fire to actually select it. So, um, if you don't do that fast enough, what you end up doing is just firing off the weapon that you were trying to switch from. Which is fine when it's, um, you know, something that you are have tons of like pistol ammo but not not so great when it's uh one of your one and only grenade mm -hmm. oh boy of course you're taking pictures of me Oh god. Whoa! Hello. Mm. All that work for 45 SMG rounds. Oh god. Oh crap. Where are you, man hack? There you go. And... Come closer, stupid camera. Yeah, that's what you get for listening to me when I tell you to come closer. You know I can't be trusted. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Um, 
Is it programmed to have the head crab to have the head crab have attacked your enemy if it saw them? I I believe so because sometimes you see the head crab zombie and the combine troops fighting. They're not on the same side. Uh, they are two two different types. Oh crap! Two different types of uh, alien. Um, and no, that's not the way. Where do I go? Um, oh, I think it's along here, and I gotta time myself past the steam. Ah, steam. Because it's a valve game. There we go. Nah. Don't even know if keyboard mouse aim is up to the task of hitting a target that small. Whoa. Crowbar aim is, though. I smite the... Oh. And anytime you see a lambda, which is like the little half-life sign there, there's usually a secret route or um, items to find. Yeah. See items. Oh. There we go. Let's uh, reload our submachine. Oh, it's automatically reloaded. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh boy, should have saved. In fact, I'm gonna save right now because I have a feeling this is gonna go poorly. Okay. Uh, most games I played only had them attack me, regardless of whose side they were on. Well, see, like Valve's games tend to be programmed with like fairly decent artificial intelligence, and like they're usually designed with dynamic things like that happening in mind. I mean, I might be remembering it wrong. It's been a long time since I've played Half-Life 2, like from from the beginning to the end, but. Uh, I do remember there being situations in which had cra ha ah, head crab zombies and um, ooh, look at this head crab zombies and combine troops were fighting each other. So. I'm sure a Google search would give us a definitive answer, but uh, for now I'll just uh, see if I come across it organically in game. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Vaguely, but do remember it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Pesky mosquito things. Ah. Come on. See, one at a time, these things aren't so hard to hit, but it's when you get a big group of them coming at you that they get uh, pretty freaky. There we go. Still one more. Okay. Now, let's climb this ladder. 
jump on. Oh, can we not jump on that pipe? I feel like we should be able to. Hmm. Oh. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly what the controls want from you. Every game has a different means of what using a mouse and keyboard on a ladder mean. It usually becomes pretty natural once you figure out what the specific game you're playing wants of you, but like climbing down is usually pretty freaky. Like you never know if it's like you just climb on it and then hit down like your back direction or in this game apparently it's look down while on the ladder as if you're climbing it upside down, but you just got to figure out what they want from you. And yes, and also it gives you more creativity when the, the different enemy factions will fight each other because you can um, usually intentionally play them off each other if you would like to. Okay, there's our... Okay, I know what I have to do. I see a valve and... Generally, if you see a valve in a game made by the company Valve, it'll probably be something that needs to be turned. Um, I just gotta get down there without dying. See it? Oh. There we go. Now raise the water. Should make this room a bit of a different task to manage. Oh boy. Oh god. Do not want to get in here. <laughs> My HEV suit is so sweet, it just gave me a dose of morphine. Oh, come on. Dude, man hack. Come on. Did I need to go back in here yet? I might have been jumping the gun. It's possible I had to go somewhere else first. I don't think I can make that jump yet. Oh! Ah! It's actually pretty intuitive how you get off there. You just turn around and then look up, but I'm expecting it to be more wonky than it actually is. Ooh. Oh no. Right. Is there a route that I can swim through over here? No. Now I said I remember this puzzle. I did not <laughs> I did not say I flawlessly remembered the solution to it. But the way puzzles in Half-Life usually go is that you forget it for a long time and then all of a sudden it clicks and you're like, oh, I'm stupid. I should have seen that right away. Ah, there we go. Or is this just the way I came? How are we doing for oxygen? Oh no. There we have it. Is it just that... Oh, I guess maybe I need to get the water level a little bit higher to get up here. Or... No, because I can't make that jump, can I? Ah, yes. It's not that I have to get the water level higher, it's that i got to give myself more platforms. But not run out of oxygen. Oh god. I run out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I was actually draining my own real world oxygen. I was panicking. 
Okay, let's go back down and destroy some more of these things. Get my floaty platforms coming up. Oh no, totally out of oxygen now. I'm gonna start losing health. Oh wow, lucky. There we go. That's all you had to do. When in doubt, if you're stuck in Half-Life 2, um, try to use science. <laughs> Figure out how physics can be your solution. Um, I just, oh, sorry, dropped my phone. Uh, sorry, I just, every so often I gotta remember to hit Alt F10 and then, oh, is my Alt F10 not working? Save last 18, okay, it just wasn't displaying. There we go. Let's save our game while we're at it. Which way? Um. Oh! Front and behind. I feel like there should be at least some health power ups over here. I just started just switching with numbers. There we go. Lambda. Oh no! Don't fall off. I want my lambda. Lambda is what that symbol is called. The, like, Half-Life symbol. <laughs> L-A-M-D-A? Yeah, I think it's just L-A-M-D-A. I don't think there's a B. I kind of want to say there's a B because it is, like, the word lamb, the way it's pronounced, but I don't, I don't think it's the way you're thinking, or the way I'm thinking. Okay. Hey, you're Freeman, aren't you? I certainly you am. Coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station Six. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat. Airboat. Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. You better get going now. Okay. How much more coffee do I have? Mm. All right. I will continue on my journey. I have sipped my coffee. <laughs> Oh, sweet nectar of life. Incoming! They're us! Oh, okay. That's bad. Let's uh, run away from the head crabs. Oh, boy. Ah! Ah, crap. Let's switch 
damage to the SMG. Ah. Ah, little jumping beans. Ah, let me get through here. There we go. Oh, come on, how are you not dead? I knew I was gonna get shocked by that. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I did not like how that went anyways. I know my phone is falling over. Okay, so let's, from the get-go, start with the SMG. Try to clear a path behind us. Take out that headcrab zombie, primarily. Or just run? Maybe I'll just run. Ooh, my health level is bad. Okay. I almost still think the sprint by everything strategy might be the best one to go with here. Let's top off our ammo, shoot what we gotta shoot, not wait around and fight too many things. Need, oh, maybe it's... HEV suit, ah! Is it the head crabs are killing me so bad? Yeah. Or maybe it's just the radiation on the ground. Gotta watch what I'm running through. There we go. Eh, well. I made it, and there's my airboat. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. Airboat. Okay. I don't have a gun yet on my airboat. But if Archer has taught me anything, it's that airboats are amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my phone has fallen over, so sorry, I'm just trying to set this up so I can see you guys talk. And alright, let's go. I guess forgive the lack of hand and like arm models on um the um, airboat. It uh, was apparently a thing that was difficult to do in the early 2000s. <laughs> valve. Tiny valve. Uh, Oh, hello, head crab. Oh, all that for pistol ammo I did not... Oh, God. Come on, there we go. I'm good at driving the airboat. I am apparently not incredible, though. And we want to shoot for incredible over here. Water hazard. Here we go. This is quite the entertaining level. Let's hop off here, grab that lambda. Because remember, where there are lambdas, there are items. And I'm at, like, half health. And it's nothing but pistol ammo, which I don't need. Fantastic. Kaboom! Mm 
Oh. Physics, physics, physics. Oh, hello. Oh, is that G-Man up there? I was like, I thought I just saw a dude. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> There's only one person at Station 12 and he's a silent protagonist, so... <laughs> oh, come on. Ah! Seriously? Ah! Thank you, AGB suit. Bro, oh, yeah. Just need to pick this up. There we go. Ah! Come on. Ah, let me get off the ladder. <laughs> See what I mean about some games just being wonky about their ladder. Okay. I wonder if there's anything in here. I'm just hoping for health power-ups because I'm at 31%. Ah, there we go. 80. Not perfect, but you know what? It's still better than I was at before I started. Now, where is my airboat? <laughs> too much of my auxiliary power there we go just need to know the direction I'm moving in until I can get to daylight let's push these out now, this puzzle I remember very well I already know how to solve it I just need some buoyancy in this ramp Get her moving. Would have been nice if I went through those power ups, but uh, no time to go back. And power slide. Tokyo drifts some enemies to death. There we go. And kill these guys with physics. Oh boy. OK. 
Okay, load screen, sweet. Seems like 80% of this game is walking on beams. <laughs> There's a bit more to it than that, but um, yeah, in the opening chapters, there is a fair amount of um, beam navigation. And the middle one. Okay. Alright, I remember this area. We are saving our game. Oof. That person, at least it's a pretty good chance they didn't talk. This was the good old Goldfinger situation of, do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Oh god. Oh, blow up. Is that just a thing that oh, it's just a thing that's still on fire. Oh crap. Oh god. PC Master Race. Please forgive me for that terrible aim. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Full grenades. Now I don't feel so bad about wasting that grenade earlier. Ah. Okay, if he's saying get down, it means it must have been pretty close to him. Oh god. See, now we're getting into parts of the game that are not just beam walking. Oh. What was I just climbing? Oh, how about that? Tiny ladder. Is there anything up here? Hmm. Neat. Oh, that neat. That's an alternate fire grenade. I almost kind of forget how to do the alternate fire. I imagine it's probably... Okay, so... Kaboom! Okay. Now let's get out to my now newly available turret.
Oh boy. Oh crap. That was a poor throw. That was a much better throw. Oh no. Two bad throws. And lost most of my health. Health in here? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. I'll say that much. 38% eh. mm. health. Not, not exactly where we want to be. Not terrible. Not hopeless, but... 38% is uh, not a good grade. Oh, we got um, DC Nintendo Fanboy. All right, uh, yeah, man, if you need to go eat, uh, no one needs to say. Uh, I shall not be offended. I'm hopefully going to get to at least the end of Rook now. Maybe I'll do Raven Home. Maybe I'll, um, I'll get through Raven Home as well here. Uh, th this area does take a little while, but... Um, Black Mesa East is basically just a story segment, and then Raven Home's one of the most like kind of classic areas in any any video game ever. So it would be cool to, to do that for our, our first stream, and then once I finish with Raven Home, I'll probably oh gosh get back on um, writing my Ori and the Will of the Wisps script because that is probably going to be the next video I'm actually making. I'm working on the Half-Life Alex script, but I, I really want that to be... That one might need to be one that has a, a tad more time and effort put into it, just because it's such a special game. Um, jump. Oh god. 19% health. This is definitely not where we want to be. Oh god. Eh, uh, 4%. That's, and we're dead. Okay. Well, back up to 56, so we can do maybe a little bit better than we did last time. Seems like I don't have much choice but to get a little bit hit by that. Maybe this would be... Oh, gosh. A better route to go. And so hard to dodge what seemed like hazards that just going right through the hazards was the better bet. <laughs> and loading. Okay. Alt F10. Alright. Let's solve another physics puzzle that I remember pretty well. <laughs> Yeah. Give me health and armor. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay, not gonna be able to go that way. Gonna wanna dodge this guy here. When in doubt, shoot the lock. <laughs> Every video game ever advice. Oh, I know which weapon I'm picking up now. I love this gun. Okay, come on. Oh, crap. Shouldn't have done that. That's not a good time for a reload. Saving game. Uh, 
one hit killer. Oh, he just threw a man hack. There we go. Ah! Oh crap. There we go. Oh shit. Whew. Ah. Oh no. This could be bad. Ah! No. Oh. Man hacks on my back. Ugh. Okay. I could have done that better. So let's kill the guy at the top of the stairs here. One shot. Move here, kill this guy, hopefully... Ah, crap. Didn't get him before he launched his man hack. That's fine. Let's use submachine gun on this dude so I can kind of scrape and move. In here. Kill the man hack in the shipping container. Oh. There's two? I thought there was only one. Oh god. Oh. All right. Half-Life 2 time. Hello. Um I got to actually move my phone closer. I'm going blind. Letal Fanatic 1985. Good thing Valve is back mixing real games such as Half-Life. Yes, and uh Alex is kind of the reason I'm playing this cuz I uh oh, that's a waste of a uh, Magnum round. But yeah, um, I, I want some B-roll footage for my Half-Life Alex review, and what better way to get it than to play through Half-Life 2 on stream for... Oh man, I keep on missing that shot. Maybe I can nail this one. There we go. Come on. Oh boy. There we go. Stop shooting. There we go. Ah. One good shot, one bad shot. Three rounds left. One. Nope, nope, miss. Crap, those man hacks are a problem. Ugh. Oh, crap. I keep on forgetting those two guys. They, like, spawn down there. Come on, man hacks. God, can even one of them die? There we go. 15% health. 14. Okay. Whew. Okay. And that is why I'm very happy to be using a keyboard and mouse sometimes. Because I do not think I would have made those shots with the controller. <laughs> oh boy. Ha, and then I miss a significantly easier one. Less than a second later. Or not less than a second, you know what I mean. 
I'm, I'm speaking delirious. I was just in a very intense gun battle. There we go. Headshot. Headshot just for you guys. Okay. Oh, come on. Have you ever been playing too much Titanfall 2 or not enough Titanfall 2? Though Titanfall 2, actually, and Apex Legends were both made on the Source Engine, which is the game that... This was the first game ever that was made on the Source Engine, so if this looks at all like the physics and animation are at all similar to Titanfall 2, that would be why. Yeah, the gunplay in the Half-Life games is good. It's not fantastic. That's why uh, most shooters I'll play on um, on harder difficulties, but I find that normal is sort of the sweet spot for the Half-Life games because uh, the... Oh, well, that was not very good. Ah, because um, most of... You know, I'm just going to reload that save game I just made. Uh, auto save, manual save, here we go. So I think I need to use my, my tool. Oh god. Oh, come on. Whew. Thank God. Suit. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I just shoot them? <laughs> yes. Um, yes, you're not wrong about Half-Life Alex taking place before Half-Life 2. But without spoiling any of Half-Life Alex, I will say that it is slightly more complicated than that. And actually, one of the big things that's been my sticking point for... I'm in, like, the last... Maybe, like, two, three paragraphs of my Half-Life 2 script... Uh, Half-Life Alex script. And my big sticking point is whether or not I should make it, like, a spoiler review. Or, um, keep the story spoilers absent. Be and mostly because I... It's so good what happens in the story that I want to share it with people that even if they're not people who will end up being able to play Half-Life Alex because of the VR format. Oh, man. It is why I saved before this because I feel like I am not running the right direction. Um, yeah, so I, guess, I don't know. I guess if you guys um, say whether or not you prefer my review to be absolutely spoiler-free or to um, talk about the ending. It, either way, I would be doing it at the end of the review, so that it would be a a discrete section where it's like, yeah, like now we're going to talk about spoilers, so if you... Uh, ah, no, oh god. Okay. That was bad. Whoa. Where am I even? Oh, there's an autosave, like, right there. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just killed myself with my own grenade. I don't particularly like that autosave spot. But let's, uh... There we go. And all that was to open that door. <laughs> and 79% health. That's not, not horrendous. Um, I meant those robots with the red lights. Um, they are... Uh, they are, It's really easy to burn a lot of ammo on the manhacks. Manhacks are what those uh, little robot things are called. So, um, as much as it might seem counterproductive to be, like, trying to use the crowbar on them, it's significantly easier to kill them with the crowbar than it is to try to accurately shoot them with enough rounds that it takes to kill them. Because, um, hitting them with the magnum is really tricky to get the timing down because they move so fast and erratically. 
And um, you, can, you can burn a lot of your submachine gun rounds on them. And... Oh, yeah, mine time. Oh, boy. Tokyo Drift. Oh boy. Oh, that was okay. <laughs> that mine realistically should have hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well. Come on, come on, come on, airboat. Well, luckily, it seems like I have escaped the helicopter dropping sea mines on me. But I might have to mulligan this um, ramp section. There we go. That was almost really slick. <laughs> Twitch viewing audience. Th th thank you, thank you. I will be here all week. Oh, God. Still a helicopter. Uh, can't wait till I can take the fight to the helicopter. It will happen, I promise you. Oh, not before it takes some more sea mines to me. feel like there's a secret up there, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good enough. Terrible. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take the mulligan ramp.
Little detour. Oh, Alt F10. Nine minutes. Okay, it wasn't that far off. Probably should have saved my game again because now I'm getting bombed by. Oh boy. Oh. I should have known that that would go poorly. Launch. And yeah, that one even worse. Just as bad as driving a Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> driving a go-kart is not the same as driving an airboat with uh, a crazy physics-based... Also, I'm playing with, like I'm driving with one hand. <laughs> I'm playing this entire sequence on the keys A, W, and D, and sometimes S. Very infrequently S. Didn't mean to scream at you guys. <laughs> I'm better than Ryan. There we go. Two of you are still falling off the road and running into wall. There's no road. It's an airboat. <laughs> I'm in a very, very small hovercraft that is being propelled by a gigantic, like, ventilation fan, essentially. Maybe I will go down there and grab that health, because I feel like it. Now am I trapped in here forever, though? Nope, not. Alright, let's uh, make another save game. It's because I kind of regret not making one at the end of the last sequence. All right. You're Freeman, aren't you? Things are about to get more interesting. That's right. I'm super famous. Come on, Vortigon. Do things to my boat. Come on. <laughs> here, take a look at this. This here's the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hideout. I'm going to run to the washroom real quickly. You guys can enjoy this uh, in-game cinematic. Possible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out.
All right, I am back. No one run away. Hopefully. I mean, you can run away if you want. I would prefer you didn't. Um, yes, washroom. It's what Canadians say when they have to pee. And, uh, yeah, I said washroom because there is no bath in there, but there is a sink. So it's not a bathroom if there is just a toilet and a sink in it, is it? The Americans are crazy, eh? Um, okay, do they want me to do something else here? Or is the board there gone? There we go. Oh yeah. The freeman will accept this weapon or suffer greatly on the road ahead. Okay, okay, I'll accept the weapon. Oh yeah, it overheats. Ah, stupid ammo. Oh. Eh, I wouldn't mind a better run through that section anyways. You really got to use burst fire here. Oh, come on. Oh. That was poor driving.
Oh, come on. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, CAC 44, how's it going? Easily make a joke about Canada's politics if you think you were, we're crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys got... You guys have a reality TV show host is the sitting president running against a man with dementia. <laughs> I, I I don't know if it, I don't know if Canada's gonna win on the crazy politicians front. I'm not saying they're not crazy. I'm just uh, you, you guys might have us beat. Though. That's, that's all I'm saying. Ah, and I'm dead. We really gotta take out those APCs. Oh crap. Oh no. This is bad. Okay, one is down though. I can do a second pass around this side. Dodge some rockets. There we go. Sorry, I'm just gonna again pick up my phone because you have a guy who used to blackface and first to mankind as people kind. First of all, the people kind thing was him joking. I, I don't know that that's made clear in the uh, clips of it. Uh, I have no defense about the uh, the brown face stuff. Uh, that was a uh, not a good look. <laughs> Okay, come on, boss fight. Oh, crap. Bad times. Come on. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh, it's bad. Can I hopefully find a health power up? Because 5%, I don't think is going to do it. Aha! Ooh. Oh, come on, they were right there. <laughs> that sucks. Mm -hmm. So, GNG TTT? Yeah, I'm not sure what TTT is. Um, Trouble in Terrorist Town? Yes. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know, is that a Modern Warfare 2 stream, I guess? Okay. Always run away from the Rogue One alarm. <laughs> Boom. That is one dead bird. These are the health power-ups I was trying to get to. And I feel like there's another one around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to farm a little bit of power-ups. Uh, capture my footage and then we will hopefully finish water hazard water hazard being the name of this level aha Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, there's another one, though. Okay, this is the last attempt I'm going to make to get this power up along here. Yes. It's all about giving yourself the pressure. The pressure required to succeed. Mm hmm. Game that makes up, um, it's up soon. Hugely popular game on Gmod. Oh, Trouble in Terrorist Town. Oh, it's a Gmod game. Okay, cool. Yeah, Gmod I never really played around with too much, but, um, I know that, uh, Das Boshit from, uh, EFAP uh, is a uh, Gary's Mod YouTuber primarily, or at least was. I think he doesn't really make videos anymore. Or maybe he started again. I'm not sure, but. Um, how do I get back up there? Sorry, I know there's kind of a puzzle involved in getting this gate open. You know, I just need to... Yeah, no, because I need to open it up and then jump across there. But how do I go about that? No, not over there. I need to get up to those controls, but oh, maybe it's this way? Possibly yes. 
Oh yeah, I think there was a whole segment and then eventually I opened the way up to get back that way. But first, here. I remember there being kind of a creepy shot of uh, the G-Man standing along one of these cliffs as I'm on my way out. Let's uh, make a quick save game here, because I know there is some more combat. Despite the fact that I just had what is effectively a boss battle. Gunslinger, line of eld, who carry hard calibers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of that hunting for health and armor, and there was a station right in here. That's what I get for being thorough and exploring. There he is. See the G-Man? I always remember being super creeped out when I saw him there. I was like, what? Okay. Now oh, there's a ladder where I can get back up here. There we go. I can only open up half the gate. That's good enough. It's all I need. Oh. Actually, I'm a stupid man. Gotta run across this way. Because I left my boat up here. Okay, didn't make it. Yeah. Second time's the charm. <laughs> Black Mesa East, all right. We're about caught up to where I was when I was playing for, um, not the, what was I, what was I playing Half-Life 2 for recently? Oh, um, the March new release video, because I wanted a shot of Half-Life 2 to play it there, and I played about this much, so now I am no longer playing things I remember slightly better than horribly. Nope. Thought there might have been a secret I was missing. Yeah, we. Somebody's getting into the spirit. Uh, it's RC. RC from the NYC. He's either radio controlled or he loves that cola. They've got something. Okay, it's it's human. 
Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take I'm any chances. I'm going to be back. I um, just want to top off Dr. my coffee. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, oh, there we go. You can come through now. All right, I'm back. My coffee is being brewed. I will go pick it up later. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. This lady thinks she's so smart with her book learning. Listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. I do not trust you. Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined the Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through So again Zen spelt with an X is the um, Is the alien planet that you Open up a portal to at the end of the first game or the beginning I guess. Hey look he's got a leg like mine You haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now let's see other leg, I though. You, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. I shall. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That hmm. picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. Oh, that's sweet. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. Okay. Done about all the looking I can do. Unless. Oh. Ah. ah. There you are, Alex. The Vortigon said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Oh, my. You know things are getting real when her dad is winging for you. <laughs> Take a look at this, Gordon.
Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> now that tool on her belt actually is used in Half-Life Alex quite a lot. Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. All right. The point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Yeah, but the gravity gun is so much fun. So I see you've met Dr. Mothman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Creepy. Oh. Ah, the term, we don't go to Ravenholm. <laughs> In case you can't tell, we will be going to Ravenholm. <laughs> Here's where we get to meet Dog. was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials. Gravity gun, got it. mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Oh yeah. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Oh. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. Try stacking some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. All right. Beware of dog. Ready to meet the best boy in all of gaming? Now let me call dog. He loves to play fetch. He's such a good boy. Oh, I would not even attempt to kill Alex. Alex Vance is a good, good lady. Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a nice boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw. He's basically helper from Venture Brothers. Come on. Good catch. Throw another dog. Awesome. Another one, dog.
<laughs> I feel like I'm never going to actually hit that basket. Hit it from the bottom. There we go. <laughs> Okay, but I'm taking the gravity gun with me. You can't stop me, Alex Vance. Get moving, girl and boy. <laughs> Two hours later. Too much of a fat man. I'm gonna end up going that way. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, that's probably why. Gordon, you need to get out of here. I can't leave my father. Dog, take Gordon to the Ravenholm Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! Yeah, later, RC. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. I don't always go to Raven home, but when I do, I bring my gravity gun. Now this is basically the horror segment of the game. Oh. Oh, wait. Realize. There we go. I'm going to go retrieve my coffee. Yes, we don't go to Raven Home, except for when we do. All right, and quickly capture some footage. Oh, there we go. Seven minutes. Save game. And I will be back in about, I'll say one minute. <laughs> I'm on my way back.
Okay, I've returned. I've been black on the clock since two. I just have hardly had anyone coming in today. Uh, I guess depending on what your line of work, that could be a good or a bad thing. Okay. So let's make our way through Ravenholm. The scariest level in the game. I'll call it a day after Ravenholm, but I will get through all of Ravenholm for you. Oh, that's not what we want. And are you beginning to see why the gravity gun is awesome? Limited ammo. As long as there's buzz saw, or circular saw blades around. There we go. Oh, hello. I remember there being a trick to this. I just kind of forget what it is. There we go. Oh god. Oh, that was bad. Come on. Oh crap. Gotcha. Oh, man. Thank you, Mr. Guy. He's a good Mr. Guy. Oh, crap. Oh, bad, bad, bad things happening. Oh. 
don't have any circular saw blades or anything around here. There we go. When in doubt, use the valve. Oh, I almost feel bad. I'm all up for mercy killing, but mercy burning someone alive? Oof, that's, uh, that's a rough go. Oh, man. Every time you guys show up, it uh, freaks me out. Oh, that guy had a bad day. Okay. Nope. Seriously? I figured that would stop it. Oh wait, maybe... Okay... Mm -hmm. Bad day, <laughs> looks like he's been there for a week. <laughs> so the gravity gun will kill head grabs without hitting the head... Um, well, no, like, I mean, the head crab zombies, they, like, they, they can survive without, I guess, the, what would be the word for it, without other parts of them, um, being injured, or, like, with uh, injuries to other parts of their body, but if you destroy the body entirely, then you've killed the zombie also, so, the, um, circular saw blades are, like, cutting them in half. And, uh, they're not, they're not invincible. Okay. Oh, also, the gravity gun doesn't kill them directly. Like, if you, if you just shoot something with the gravity gun, pretty much nothing happens to it. You have to launch something at it with the gravity gun. Seriously? I can't lift that couch. Oh, God. Poison head grabs. These are my favorite. Not... These bastards are so freaky. 
They're very scary in Half-Life Alex also. I think they're scary now. Take a look at them in VR. It's uh, horrifying. There we go. Good enough. You still hear squeaking. This concerns me. Oh boy. Jump at me. the ladder. Ah. <laughs> well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Thank you, scary man. <laughs> Part of how we are vigilant is by saving our game regularly. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah. Walking across planks. Oh. Seriously? Oh my god, that grenade killed one head crab. Terrible. Terrible use of resources. Okay. Running out of ammo. Come on. Hello, guys. Help me save ammo. Mm -hmm. Got them both in the shadow. There we go. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I get it. Elevate me. I feel like, mm, or maybe can this be knocked down? No. Oh, 
Oh, come on. What? My god. Losing my pro gamer status here on this one. Why can't I jump? Ah! My lord. There we go. <laughs> now I can't even get on the car. I might have to give up on whatever is on the other side of that lambda. There we go. Aha! Got back my grenade that I wasted, though. Still got barely any submachine gun ammo. It appears the old man has gone quite mad. Quite mad, indeed. Hmm. I was taking a sip of my coffee. I thought I would be talking to Father Gregory. And... Oh, come on. Seriously? If that head crab is still alive, I am quitting. Ah, it is you, brother. I apologize. Oh god. Yeah, that is why you want to shoot for the head crab. Because you can kill the zombie sometimes, but if the head crab is dislodged from the zombie, he has still got a head crab to deal with. And ain't nobody wants to deal with the poison head crabs. Oh boy, that is way too close. Oh crap. Oh, this could be bad. Yikes. Damn you, poison head crabs. Ah, they're so fast and horrible. Like invincible, I swear to god. Ugh, so gross. User death imminent? What a way to keep me in the game, ATV suit. Gosh. Uh, oh, sorry, drop the chat down. You had programmer status? I, yes, technically I, I do make, make a little bit of money playing games. <laughs> I don't exactly live off of it, but, you know, I 
it's enough money that it keeps me playing games. I guess I'll, I'll say that much. <laughs> Where is it? Ah. That is not a very nice sound. Look at Seriously? Just saw blade go. There's another one. That's fine. Gotta be kidding. Hundred percent health. Oh yeah. I'd say to check his health bar, but spoiler alert. It might not be very high. <laughs> Just knock this thing over. Nope. It seems like it's the way to go. I want to just carry this around. Maybe moving things to climb up here. I'm not seeing a lot of items that I can use to build a step ladder. Oh, maybe through here. I'm sure I could probably do something with those laundry machine. Oh no. Thank you. 
Ah. All I've done is painted him. The Home Alone movies were a lie. Give me that shotgun, father. Here I have a more suitable gun for you. Yeah. Catch. Good. Oh yeah. Keep it close. My advice to you is aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenholm. Move on and I will meet you at the church. Return to your true nature. Mm. Well, the true nature. Oh, I don't even know how I fired that shot. My hand was nowhere near my mouse button. Come on. Okay. That could have gone better, but you know what? We're alive. Whoa, hello. Suck it from all the beings with opposable thumbs. Oh crap. <laughs> that sounded like a door opening sound effect. Yeah. Ah. 
Where is that one that sheds poison head crabs? Aha, you're there. And that was too close. I feel like burning you is the right thing to do. Oh no, I've destroyed my other trap. Oh no. Okay, this is the way I came, for sure. It's good to know, though. <laughs> it's good that I didn't explore that area for a very long time before realizing that. That would have made me feel stupid, and I would have maybe agreed about me no longer having pro gamer status. Might need to start running and dodging here because I am running out of ammo and they do not seem to be running out of monsters. Oh, okay, I think I see a path. Oh crap. So long, suckers. Just messing with you because you said I'm losing my programmer status. Yeah, no, I, I was half kidding. Although, again, I, the, technically I do get paid very small amounts of money to play video games. I, I barely have the status, but I, I think I have. In the technical sense, at least. Um, okay. I need to extend that... Okay, so there's probably 
a thing that I need to hit, a switch or a, a valve that will move this thing across there to the middle so that I can cross over to that side and then continue on my path that way. those things okay so that is right there this is not a path what are you connected to oh oh come on shotgun to the head what rules are you playing by game shotgun to the head kill zombies it's, it's like a rule to figure out what controls that. Oh, there's a lever. <laughs> okay, that was the thing I was trying to do. Oh, I do still have shotgun rounds. I did not need to waste a magnum shot after all. Oh crap. I knew there was one more. Taking a taking a sip of my coffee. Okay, and we continue through Ravenholm. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Dog though, leaving me alone in this survival horror scenario for this long. He was supposed to pick me up like right away. I'm gonna paint the next one I see. Um, okay, why did I just end up back here? All that to... Okay, that's odd. Did I not have to go down here? And... Oh, okay. Have a small piece of wood.
Oh, really? Oh my god. Okay. I think we're good. Ah. Uh. Seventy-four percent. Okay, that's not too bad. Just because we've getting like no HEV suit charges this entire area. Oh wow! Sorry, I'm not. Ah, I hear more, and I, I do want to look at the chat, but I, I hear bad, bad dudes coming after me. I will check in a moment. I see that there and Cap Gamer is here, and ah, shotgun. Okay, cool. Magnum rounds. Oh, and I'm full. Okay. Oh, Will Gentry's here. You ended up back there because you didn't get good. I got good. Small wood egg, not someone would admit, but to each their own. Well, you would have to ask X-Ray Girl about that, but... She's very attractive, and I will let you do the math on how I managed to keep that going. <laughs> send the cart for you brother it will be but a moment and yes i have brother. played og half-life i played it when it Mark launched well. i got a boxed copy of it on cd-rom i do not believe i still have that copy or if i do it's with my storage stuff somewhere buried beneath my basement um, i don't tend to throw a lot of stuff like that out so i'm willing to bet if i really went hunting for it i could find my like og half-life disc but, um... I also do have it on Steam, so, I mean... Eventually, I can play it here, but I, I kind of want to play Black Mesa first, because I haven't got it. Why can't I... There we go. Oh god. Whoa. Could I say? Yeah, I've stepped into the cart. <laughs> yeah, no, pity, pity doesn't work that well. <laughs> I know X-Ray Girl mostly keeps her face hidden, but uh, trust me, a, gr a girl like that wouldn't be with me out of pity alone. <laughs> for avoiding my traps. The work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and... On my YouTube channel, though, you can see a couple streams of her playing Beat Saber, and she's gotten significantly better since then, too. She's now playing some songs on Expert Plus. A shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. Okay. Hallowed ground mean there's not going to be headcrab zombies trying to murder me?
Apparently not. Yeah, I'm working on it, man. Maybe you should learn to move. You stay close to me. I'm the one actually dodging these guys. You're just standing there letting them eat you. That one was my fault. <laughs> oh God. Blunt force trauma. Lacerating trauma. Oh, come on. Let me gravity grab you. What just happened? Oh, God. Be free, my child. Be free. Freedom is free. Oh, there's a hefty fucking fee. And if you don't shit, then you're a buckle five. Whoa. Yeah, buckle five. right in front of my line of fire, man. It's a strong chance that I just cut the priest in half. He seems okay, though. Dude's a total bro. <laughs> Half-Life Alex isn't Half-Life 3, it's a prequel. Um, it's not Half-Life 3, but saying it is just a prequel is also not 100% accurate. And I can't really say much more than that without spoilers, and that even saying that much is arguably a spoiler. And it, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not really Half-Life 1.5 either. It's like... It's like Half-Life 1.5 and maybe a little bit of Half-Life Episode 2.5, I guess, is probably the best way to put it. <laughs> How do 
I get into the mine? Uh, is this just jumping down? Oh, no. Apparently not. Death. That's not the way. And, and that's the the thing, though. It doesn't, like, that's not where it entirely takes place, but... Mm -hmm. I could say that it, t it definitely starts <laughs> between Half-Life 1 and 2. Mm. See, I feel like I have to... There's, like, no other way down here. Or am I just missing something super obvious? No, that's the way back. I think I did have the right idea just bouncing between those rafters. I just didn't do it right. Oh, no. And yeah, that's also not doing it right. There. Yeah, this is what I need to be doing. Oh, death. Death X2, okay. I think that's not too bad, though. I think all told I've maybe died, what, five times today? Thereabouts. Ah, no. Stop. Stop it with the major fractures. Ah. My god. Most of the deaths are happening right now. And no, that's that's not exactly it either. Like, ANCAP, trust me, if I explain it, it actually will spoil major stuff. I'm just... The, the only way to say it with, like, a bit of tease but no actual spoilers is to say that it's not exactly just between Half-Life 1 and 2. Uh, there, it's slightly more complicated than that. It's not a lot more complicated than that, but... And that is, like, most of the game is, is that much. But it does... It does do some, some things for all the people who would have otherwise said, Oh, Half-Life 3 is never gonna happen, or Half-Life 2 Episode 3 is vaporware, like, um... Let's say it, uh, it hints at a, uh... A bigger world of Half-Life games to be occurring afterwards. I stream pretty much the entire game on my channel, though. So if you uh, if you don't have a VR headset, but you would like to see what happens in Half-Life Alex, then uh, you can always visit my YouTube channel and look at my stream playlist. Because uh, most of it is there. I, I don't delete my streams. And it is very, very good. That is um, part of the reason why my review isn't finished of it. Uh, my review of it is not finished yet. It's that I really, really didn't want to rush it. I want to I wanna make sure I do a good job on that one. And honestly, part of um, part of the thing that I think, I don't know if anyone was here at the towards the beginning of the stream that I actually mentioned is that... Um, I'm having trouble figuring out how to do that a review of that game justice without spoilers because the story and what they do with the story is such a big part of the reason why I love it so much. So um, it's kind of a, uh, a tricky one to keep as spoiler free while still doing the game justice. Uh, also knowing that a lot of people probably won't play it because of the format, like being a... Uh, being a VR game. That being said, if you have any ability to um, either borrow some VR equipment or um, or acquire it, I guess, then um, it. Hey, although, again, don't break the bank because I'm also a big. Pro it, it puts me in a tricky spot because I don't want to be like, yeah, no, everyone, like, hey, like, rack up your credit card debt and like go play play Half Life Alex however you can before it gets spoiled for you. It's not. It's not like that. It's not that good. It is very, very good, but not um, ruin your life for it good, which, like, I mean, really no video game is. 
but um, if you have any reasonable means by which to play it, I think you should, because it is very good. Oh god, I'm just gonna start dodging around these guys. No, 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 don't, ah! Okay, ah well. 98%, that's not, not too bad a health. Level be at. Um, oh god, a lot just happened in the chat. Um, I might need to get to a safe spot before I, I read that. Otherwise, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> ah! Oh. This is not a safe pot, spot. Yeah, come on. Lift me up. I feel like there will be secrets very close. Oh, nope. Or not. Okay. Already played it and beat it. At the beginning, it says it takes place five years before the death of Eli Vance. <laughs> yes, I, I suppose that is accurate. Oh, is it just because I've had the flashlight on? Mm -hmm. Oh, Darth Boy just got approved for YouTube membership, too. Oh. I don't even think I've applied for it. I, mean, I, I really thought it was just you could set it up, but... Again, I I don't want to make any of my content exclusive, so my memberships would be just as, like... I guess useful is my Patreon, which basically nobody uses anyways, because I, I don't know, I just thought, I, I know that there is, oh, there's a lot of value in offering exclusive content, I just, um, I really don't want to gate any of my content away from anyone who might want to watch it, because... I think I've reached the light. Okay, I think that will be the end of Ravenholm. Apparently not the end of poison head crabs I have to deal with though. Yeah, the poison, the VR poison head crabs are uh, freaky. So uh, I guess the thing I learned is that you don't always need to fight them, especially because there is one room where they just endlessly regenerate. <laughs> I wasted so much ammo in a game where ammo is like definitely a much more of a premium than it is here. See, there you go. There's Combine fighting the uh, head crab zombies. Oh. And me. Did 
Technically, I believe, though, I can't say I'm out of Ravenholm until I see the next... Ah! No, no, no! Damn it! Ah! I'm stuck, stupid sniper! Okay, that plan didn't work. fire. Jeez. Oh, no health, really? While I'm running from a sniper? Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, see, I knew I remembered seeing... Combine commandos fighting. All right. And this is the same kind of machine gun that you have in Half-Life Alex, Though a slightly different version of it, I suppose. Have we gotten writing on the screen? Hold on a sec. Now, where is this saying we are? Yeah, I'm still in We Don't Go to Ravenholm. Jeez, okay, technically I gotta still keep playing. Oh boy. Although, let's alt F10, because I don't think I've done that in a while. I have 10 minutes, I guess it hasn't been that long. Contact 